Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. On this internet, I've been trying to avoid doing shit that I know. A nigga can't come back from it. You know what I'm saying? Let's be getting on this internet, saying the wrong shine. The relationship would never be like it was. You know what I'm saying? So, you, are, you have to always be mindful of what you're saying out your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people be trying to act like certain things, you know, have affected them. But it ain't nothing but a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Man, show love. It ain't nothing but a conversation. Conversation. And I extend my hand out to my family members. Shit, what's, if it's an issue, we talk about it. You did. Unless you just full of hate. You know what I'm saying? It's just that simple. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nigga did a bunch of hoops. Can't take it back. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you did. Ain't gotta fault itself for not being here. You hear me? I know there's a lot of people that's gonna be like, oh, well, such and such and oh, woo -de -woo -de -woo. man, nigga know what he did last summer. You hear me? <laughs> nigga know what he did last summer. Wow, man, check it, man. Your boy ECO pulling up, man, to check the situation. Uh, the other day you seen I dropped something about the whole cash money, hot bar reunion. Uh, I was excited. I went down to New Orleans. I hung out with Birdman. I hung out with BG. Um, hung out with uh, No Limit people as well. And I didn't even realize none of this stuff was going on, man. There's a lot of clips, man. But I decided, let me, let me rock out with these lives that BG did. And uh, let me rock out with what my boy Turk did. But I'm going to be real with you, man, when they talk about the conversation going back and forth. But there's a lot more. If you go watch Beehive, which that's my partner, uh, we both do this. And, and, and I called, as a matter of fact, and I don't know, I don't think he could care if I share this with you, but I called uh my boy uh be high just to see you. hey man when i get down there to new orleans i'm gonna want to interview turk and uh we was gonna we were trying to put that together and i didn't know all this other stuff was really even going on as uh, far as if he was gonna be there or not i had it in my heart that he was gonna be there so then i turned around and uh also you know got with uh hot boys and everybody the one that was there when i got there um, I'm linked in with these guys, so this is a tough one for me to really tackle when it comes down to uh, who's right and who's wrong, because like I said before, these guys is family, and ain't nothing wrong with family uh, having whatever situation they may have, you know. Um, the only difference is now we got the internet. This has been going on since the beginning of time, but at the end of the day, um, my boy uh, uh, Turk, you know, he basically, he had a Drink Champs uh, uh, interview that he did as well, you know, um, and it just, it, 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 this, it, this thing don't stop. It was a, it, it was definitely that, and I, you know, I sat back and I analyzed this stuff, and I'm like, man, you know, this stuff ain't gonna slow down, you know, because once you get on this internet, one thing I can tell you, once you put something on this internet, it ain't like you could just take it off, you know, it's, it's there, and it ain't going nowhere, you know, uh, so you gotta be very careful. That's why A and R training is very much needed when you when you going out here doing these interviews, going on these podcasts, uh, living the podcast life. And, and I say that because all the stuff, not what they're particularly dealing with, but anybody that says something on the internet, it can always come back and be used for something else. All the clips can be taken and all kind of stuff. So you got to expect that when you're living in this lifestyle, man. So I sit back and I just really, really try to figure out ways to, you know, uh, be productive on here because of everybody watching. Because I got my kids watching. I know their kids is watching how this play out. These these guys, the hot boys, definitely. Uh, these are older men now. And then you got my boy Birdman, which like y'all already know, I rock with Birdman over everything. Like that's my guy. Uh, I've been a big big fan of Birdman the whole time. This stuff was going on. Uh, just a, a, a guy who gave people opportunity. Um, and a lot of times people shun from that and they try to. Well, he didn't do this. He didn't pay that. But I'm telling you right now. You start looking at all these record labels. You start looking at all the East Coast, the West Coast, the Dr. Dre's, the Jay-Z's, any of these people, uh, the P. Diddy's, as you see, there you're going to always find fault in some of the work, the contract work, it's, uh, in the South as well. You know, anybody that you see, uh, you can go to Suave House or any of them, and you're going to see conflict in the way they first started because they was young. 
So we sometimes get caught up in this trying to figure out who's right and who's wrong. And I think we should just pretty much stay out of people family business because at the end of the day, if you're going to talk about it, do something to say, hey, man, I've been through something like that. And I understand people go through it, but it don't mean that they disconnect and disrespect forever. So once they get their friendship and everything back together, guess who's going to be excluded out? Those people who chose those different sides. If you don't agree with that, get in the comments and let me know what you think. Because like I said, I'm trying to I'm trying to understand how people are chiming in and so aggressively saying I'm with this one, I'm with that one. And that's not the place I want to be. I, I rock out with all of them, and, and I've, I've been rocking out with them, and I ain't going to stop. And that goes for No Limit and Cash Money and Rap A Lot in Texas, uh, Suave House, uh, whatever's going on, whether it's Zaytopin up in Atlanta, any of these guys down here doing something. If it's somebody down here doing something in Dallas, wherever I'm at, I'm rocking with what we're doing, man. And I'm, 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 I'm an unbiased journalist when it comes down to it. Love these guys, all of these guys, and want to see them win now going back to bg and turk i just think a phone call is, or, or something's you know at liberty or whether it be them it ain't just them it's more to it you know it's a whole bunch of they just have to figure it out and until they figure it out i'm here listening i'm here supporting and whatever these guys need that's what i'm bringing so if they ask me to pull up they want to get an interview or whatever they know i'm gonna pull up they already seen i'm gonna pull up anywhere any city uh, and show love. That's what Boss Talk 101 is all about. If you watch the show, you already know that. Um, we're not just sitting back talking. We actually deal with these people. So at the end of the day, that's I think that's what makes mine a little bit more different because I actually go out and talk to these guys and I respect these guys and it's a lot of love for these guys. And I think God put me in this position for a reason. But anyway, I'm going to bring in my girl reality TV. Uh, I know she loved music. She loved the hot boys. So I got to bring her in and see what her, her take is on it. What's going on, reality TV? What's up? What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I went down to New Orleans and, and, and man, I know you've seen some of the video footage, but I haven't put all of it out yet. But we had a great time naming the street after the William Bird. As you already know, I'm a Big Bird Man fan. And, right. and you know, I had to go down there and, and just see it for myself. And the love they showed, Boss Talk, I, I mean, no rap cap and all those guys down there, man, they showed me some crazy love, you know. Uh, GDP. Uh, Birdman himself, Slim, all of them, uh, No Limit, all of them showed me love. So, Currency, shout out. But, Vaughn, like, like, what did you think of the whole situation when you was looking from the outside looking in? I really, I thought that they was going to come together and just surprise us. I really did. I thought they was going to come together. But I just, I really hate this because I grew up in the era when the hot boys first came out and it, it'll never be the same if they don't come together without everybody. I really hate that. Cause like you said, I, I don't like that everybody try to pick sides and be in the middle of it because like you said, they are family and I really wish they were worked out. So we can get a hot boys, a real man. Hot we we hey, we waiting on it, man. You know, I I've, I heard you know, and, and, and <laughs> I ain't even gonna go there. BG said some <laughs> things like you know, um, yeah. you know, like he was like like you know the Michelle is missing and, and the uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> but like like I still feel like those are key elements and pieces that make the group who they are, no matter how <laughs> limited their situation may be. Um, but I understand where the perspective that he's shooting from. But I mean, when you see all them guys come out there, it's just different. Uh, when you see, and it's going to be a happy uh, ending when it, when you look at the way Lil Wayne's going to respond, the way Birdman's going to respond. Heck, the way Slim is going to respond. It's just going to be a great time, and I just want to see it happen for all of them. So you you yes. definitely told me about. You know, uh, things, events that's going to take place down there next year. You say the Super Bowl going to be down there. Yeah. So stuff yeah. like that. I'm I'm hoping and praying we can get this hot boy reunion back. I ain't giving up on it. And and I, I like seeing them go live. I know it's BG. It's a new thing for BG to come out here. But he getting into the business. And also, Turk, Turk say BG unfollowed him, man. I love to see all of them following each other. But uh, sometimes that's just the way it be. I don't know if there's anything to it. You don't even know how far to feed into somebody I'm following you or following you. So that's a gray area for this internet. And yeah, I won't. Serious it, about that. And I, I know that, but is it really that serious? 
it might listen, it might be a marketing strategy. We don't know. You never know, but I know they family, and they my family, and we in the South, and I'm keeping them, all of them. So at the end of the day, man, I thank God for them. Thank God for you, Reality TV. I appreciate you for calling in and chopping it up with me about them hot boys down there in New Orleans. Um, man, make sure you got like, subscribe to the channel, become members of our channel, and keep watching. And we got some hell of an interviews going to be popping off today. All this weekend, y'all, hey, a lot of the stuff we've been doing, y'all about to see it, man. So make sure you stay tuned, watch our channel, and hey, man, it's been another great segment, man, of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.